Hi guys, my name is Joanna. My name is Art. And today we're presenting our quantum mechanics project fall 2012. Our topic is atomic force microscopy. Hope, Hope you, you enjoy it. it. Atomic force microscopy uses a silicon nitride tip mounted at the end of the silicon cantilever spring. Feedback is based on a change in force between the tip and the sample which changes the angle of the cantilever and moves the spring. A laser reflecting off the back of the tip moves up and down on the detour as the spring moves. The feedback loop reacts to change in the laser position by adjusting the height of the sample in order to keep the force constant. The topography image is created from the path of the sample moving up and down while the deflection image is based on the deflection of the tip. The AFM operator adjusts the feedback control to minimize the deflection of the tip, increasing the accuracy of the topography image. In Science Magazine, Leo Gross, Fabian Mullen, Nikolai Moll, Peter Ligera, and Gerard Meyer published a report titled The Chemical Structure of a Molecule Resolved by Atomic Force Microscopy. These scientists were the first to image the anatomy and chemical structure of a molecule using atomic force microscopy in an ultra-high vacuum and very low temperature of individual pentacene molecules. Investigating single molecules and probably everybody knows from the chemistry class in school that usually the chemists they have these pictures how they draw the molecules these models and with our work we were now able to really image these molecules like they appear in the in the chemistry textbook these scientists use atomically sharp metal tip terminated with carbon monoxide molecule this enabled them to measure the short range of forces and image of the inner structure of the molecule. A tip terminated with carbon monoxide molecule yields an optimum contrast at the tip height. This enables the individual atoms in the pentacene molecule to reveal its exact atomic scale chemical structure. The calculations helped us to understand what is the origin of the contrast that we observe in the experiment. And I'll try to explain this in brief. First we image the molecule far away, then we see attraction by van der Waals forces and this attractive part has no atomic corrugation, so the whole molecule is just imaged as one blob. And only when we go very close, we see on top of this attractive potential a smaller repulsive force and this is due to the Pauli exclusion principle. This happens when the electron orbitals of the CO tip and the pentacene molecule start to overlap and then we get this Pauli repulsion. So we have this large attractive force that also gives us the dark halo surrounding the molecule and on top we then get this tiny corrugation which tells us the atomic positions and also the bond between the carbon and hydrogen atoms. Nikolai Moll performed the first principal density functional theory calculations and said the calculations helped us to understand where the contrast came from. And we saw that it was a quantum mechanical effect, the polyrepulsion, which gives the contrast. 7 a.m. cramming for a test. I want to do my very best, but I can't see very clearly. What the heck is chemistry? Something about these elements. I don't know what these mean So many letters, so many numbers I shouldn't have ingested that chlorine Ion changes electrons Isotope changes neutrons Groups go down and they have different charges It's chemistry, chemistry I love it truly You're so attractive in fantasy The periodic table is full of science Elements combined for neutrality Studying, studying, yeah. studying, studying, yeah. studying, studying, books, 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 and the table of thought. Group 
one A is unstable. Group eight A is noble. Seven A smeared with halogens, smeared with halogens. They're gonna bind with something. Transition metals in the middle. No one cares about them. I don't want this oral assessment to end. It's chemistry, chemistry. I love it truly. We're so attracted to the chemistry. The periodic table.